Today, I'm going to show you how to use this Home Assistant integration called Web Scraper. It is ridiculously awesome for pulling data from various websites into Home Assistant. For example, this is the Maryland Lottery homepage. The website lets you see all of the games and the payouts. Mega Millions, 77 million. Powerball, 223 million. Wouldn't it be nice if Home Assistant alert you to go out and buy a Mega Million lottery ticket if the ticket is more than like a billion dollar? Yeah, this is the way to go. Or what if you're shopping and you want to get an instant alert whenever this price drops to something like $500? Yep, it's all possible now. So let's get started. In Home Assistant, go ahead and go to Settings, Integrations, Add Integration, search for Scrape. The resource will be the website that you want to scrape the data from. In this case, it's the Maryland Lottery page. We're not going to authenticate anything, so you don't have to worry about username or password. I suppose this is something very useful if you want to go and see your banks, for instance, but we're not doing that. Disable SSL certificate as well. Click on next. Name it whatever you want. In this case, it's the uh, Mega Million. Next, select the CSS selector. This one is kind of tricky, so here we go. You need to go to this website, try.jsoup.org. Click on fetch URL. In the URL, go ahead and paste in the website, in this case, the MD Lottery, and then click on fetch. Next, go back to the lottery website. Go ahead and highlight the value that you want. In this case, it's the 77 million. Right click, go down to inspect, go down into this section of the code and right click on it. Select copy and then select CSS selector. Go ahead and open notepad up and this is what you will see, a bunch of uh, codes basically. Now let's jump into the JSOUP. In the query section, go ahead and paste all the code in, choose CSS. And here you can see that it was able to pull out the 77 million. Perfect. So in here, go ahead and paste in that CSS code. Our index is zero. In some cases, you'll get a bunch of indexes like zero, one, two, three, but in this case, it's zero. So the index here is zero. For the value template, just paste this value right here. It works for this website, but of course your value template can change for other websites. Device class, you can leave it as blank, or I'm going to select balance because this relates to money. State class, unit of measurement, you can leave it blank and then click on submit. Choose the area that you want. I'm going to leave it blank and then click on finish. Now go to scrape, click on one service, and bam, you can see the lotto mega million right now is 77 in the millions. This functionality of Home Assistant is crazy powerful. You don't want to stand. Because there's some websites, it does not allow you to get API or you have to pay for the API. Now you can just scrape the website and get it for free. Extremely useful for weather websites, for instance, where you have to pay money to get weather API. Now that we know what we're doing, let's do one more with the Powerball. Go ahead and highlight the value. Right now it's 223 million. Right click and go down to inspect again. Here you can see the value is 223. Go ahead and right click. Go down to copy CSS selector. Let's go back to the JSOUP website. In the query, go ahead and paste in the CSS. And there we go, we get the value of 223. So let's do the add integration one more time. The resource is the same, which is the website. Go all the way down, disable verify SSL. Click on next. The name will be Lotto Powerball. The CSS select will be this value right here that you copied earlier and just paste it in. The index is zero. The value template will be this value right here that you can just copy and paste from the description down below of this video. Device class is balance. Everything else is the same as before and then click on submit. Click on finish. Let's check out the value. There's no need to restart Home Assistant by the way. It's ready to go. Click on services. Click on Powerball, and there you go, 223 million. We can certainly set up an automation to flash the lights in the house, for instance, or turn the WLED lights to red, blinking red, to let us know that the Powerball is over 800 million, and it's time to go and buy a lottery ticket, for instance. Very nice.
I hope this video helps you on how to scrape data from various websites and put it to good use. I'm really curious what you will use this for. Please let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.